Hi, my name is Nicole Redumas. I'm a registered nurse with a master's degree in nursing. I'm here to talk to you about PPE or personal protective equipment, which includes masks, gowns, and gloves. Specifically, I'm here to talk to you about masks and more specifically, the N95 mask. Today's announcement suggested that people wear some type of a mask when they go out into public or when they leave their home to protect them against the COVID-19 virus. And that means a lot more people are looking for these masks and specifically the N95 mask because they've heard that it protects them against COVID-19. That's true. It actually will provide a significant protection against COVID-19 as well as other respiratory viruses, but only if you wear it properly. So that's kind of what I'm here for is to talk to you about what the N95 mask is and how to wear it properly. So first, what does N95 mean? The N stands for not oil resistant, and the 95 is the designation for the percentage of particles that the fibers in the mask will filter out. So that's uh, an important designation to, to know. Uh, there's several different styles of masks, and here's just a couple of them here. Um, one's more of a formed, and this one's a little bit of a softer show you this one here. If you look at the mask, you'll see where it says N95. If it's not stamped with the N95, it is not an N95 mask. Just, just know that. It has to show N95. The other thing that you can be assured of that the mask is properly manufactured is if it has this designation here, NIOSH, which stands for National Institute of Occupational Health and Safety. And what that says is that the mask if it has that stamped on there as a mask meets the standards for manufacturing and safety levels um, and safety standards, excuse me, for the level of mask that you're wearing. All right, so um, the other thing I want you to know is these N95 masks are not for kids. They are not made to fit children's faces properly and could actually be a little bit dangerous because kids are a little bit more active and running around and the N95 mask is um, kind of claustrophobic feeling. It's hard enough for adults to, to deal with it, but for kids it's even more difficult. So please find something else to protect your children from the COVID virus um, besides the mask. Just leave them at home. All right, so to wear this mask properly, the first step is you wanna wash your hands completely and then dry them completely. The reason for that is moisture will actually cause the filtration uh, to not work as well. It can actually destroy the filtration of the N95 mask. So make sure your hands are completely dry. All right, to put it on, you're going to take the mask. I'm just going to show you with this formed mask. The elastic band should be kind of dangling below your hand. Cup the mask in your hand and put it on your face just like this. Then you're going to take the lower band and you're going to put that so that it rests along, kind of along your neck like that. And then the upper band should go and kind of hit like right around the crown of your head. Once it's on, you can adjust it to make sure it's fitting completely on your face. You want it to be touching skin. So you don't want it, this bottom part to be hanging off of your chin in any way. So if your shape of your face is different, you may have to do some adjusting and make sure that every bit of the outer part of the mask is touching your skin. Then you're gonna use this metal band and this is to help press, the, press this in and meet the curves of your nose. Once you have done that, you can take a few breaths in, blow out. If you feel any air coming out of the top or out of any other part, it means that you do not have a proper seal. You have to adjust it. You have to, you know, find a different way to press, you know, press this around your nose because the most important thing is that you seal, not just for taking breaths in, but for taking, pushing breaths out. So once you've got it sealed, leave it alone. Do not touch it again because any adjustments could cause the mask to no longer function properly. All right, so once your mask um, is on, then if you're wearing gloves, that's when you can put your gloves on, all right? Um, and then you're ready to go. When you go to take your mask off, very important, remember that your gloved hands are contaminated, so you wanna properly take off your gloves and put them into the trash, and then take off your mask. You're not gonna put your hand on the mask to take it off because this whole front part is considered contaminated, all right? After you've worn it, it's considered contaminated. So you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna grab the elastic bands in the back, and then you're gonna pull them over your head and then let the mask drop. Get my hair out of the way. 
and that's how to properly uh, remove the mask. Do not touch the front of the mask because it is, again, contaminated. And you do not want to sanitize this mask in any way. So I know people are going to be reusing them, which is fine. They have said that that's okay. You just don't want to put anything to sanitize, like Lysol or any cleaning chemicals. And for those that use essential oils especially, do not use essential oils on the mask because it will break down the fibers and cause the filtration to no longer work properly and you're not protected. Um, so when you go to reuse it, one of the things you'll remember, it's going to be kind of moist on the inside. So just set it down someplace, let it dry completely before you use it again. When you go to put on a, a used mask, you can still put it on in the same way I showed you. Don't put it on with gloves, but once you've put it on and adjusted it, then you're going to want to wash your hands or if you're out and about, use hand sanitizer to um, sanitize your hands and you should be fine, okay? So that is how to use an N95 mask. Be safe, be healthy, take care.